Yo, what is going on, everyone? I uh, I hope you're doing well today. I figured uh, I'm taking a little bit of break from working on some things. Figured I'd play some World of Warcraft Classic and answer your questions. Just talk. Talk about IT. Talk about IT careers, because that's what it's all about. Plus, I just like chatting with you guys. I mean, it's always fun to to get a live stream going and just chat it up, see how everyone's doing, what everyone's up to. And, uh, I don't know. That's all. So, it's Friday. Thank goodness, right? I hope everybody's, like, looking forward to the weekend and you're going to do something fun and exciting and amazingly awesome. If not, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Get rid of this one here. So, yeah, we're just nerding it out today because I want to be a nerd today, right now, this current, this current state and time. I'm even sure. Is this... I think the stream's going. It says I am live now, so it's good to know. Glad to know I am live now. But not sure what's going on with it. Is this unlisted for some reason? Mm, no, it's public. And it's public. What's going on, Dylan Howard? How you doing, boss? Sounds too low. Maybe I need, just need to get closer to this microphone. The problem with this microphone is when I turn it up, I start getting a lot of background noise. And I'd like to avoid as much background noise as possible. What the heck? Am I missing something here? I feel like I'm missing something. What's up, Joseph Flores? How you doing? I could put on my headset. If the sound is really that bad, I could adjust it for you guys. Otherwise, I'll just try to sit closer to the microphone talk louder maybe what are you guys up to on this wonderful amazing beautiful Friday hopefully it's beautiful by where you guys are it's pretty nice here today dude I just I saw an article today that um, Google was finding that Apple devices were getting hacked on a large scale, or what it was, iPhones, some kind of large hack. Joseph Flores, my mom is in Florida, and uh, she's been t telling me about this hurricane for the past couple days. Uh, I wish my mom would move back to here in the middle of nowhere, Illinois, where all we have to worry about is tornadoes. Tornadoes are fantastic, right? Not really. Any careers that don't require you to take science? Well, I mean, in IT, there there aren't any careers that really require science. Um, although, you know, when you go to school, you end up having to take many different prerequisites and weird classes for weird things. Never makes too much sense to me. Yeah, when's that hurricane supposed to hit? What's going on, uh, Mr. Mrs. Patel? I, I'm not going to try to say your first name because I don't want to butcher it. You're doing your A-plus right now and you want to go software side. Please suggest me. Well, the A-plus and software have nothing in common. Uh, they're really two completely different things. Now, while the A-plus can be very beneficial, depending on the types of... I forgot to clear my bags. Darn it. Sorry. I'm uh, talking to myself. The... A-plus can definitely be very beneficial for anybody who's looking to get into IT. Now, being that you want to do software, like I said, it's just a little bit different. But if you're looking to develop programs that are, you know, uh, Windows-based or Linux-based or, you know, Mac-based or whatever, um, or cross-platform even, you know, it's, I think the A-plus has a lot of value to it, just understanding some of the technical side of how different uh, applications work, how networking works, so how when you're programming um, that interacts with, you know, your your network as far as traffic flowing, how how the traffic works goes through different subnets and you know VLANs and yada yada yada. It, it's kind of good just to understand the OSI layer, I think, to some extent, but. Yeah, again, A plus and software side. I mean, what what could be more specific on software side, if you can, please. 
it should be Monday that the hurricane hits. Everybody is buying all the water and gas right now. That's yeah, crazy. Hopefully my mom goes out and buys all that stuff. She's old. I mean, she's not too old. She's old to me. It's funny because my parents, my mom was 36 when she had me. And that makes her 70 now. But she's as old as, like, pretty much every single one of my friend's grandparents. So it's a little bit, it's a little weird. It's definitely odd. I remember one time I was, like, eight years old, and I went with my dad to work. And uh, we're talking to this guy, and he's asking me who he was. And he's like, hey, hey, George, is, is this your grandson here? And... I didn't really understand it at the time, like, why that guy would think that my dad is, is my grandpa. And it really didn't click till uh, like, later on in life, where I, where I thought about that instance. It's like, oh, it's because my dad and my mom and dad are so old. So, yeah, he, of course, thought that I was his grandchild. But it's just funny to think about, right? I don't know. Just a weird thing. I'm just talking about random stuff right now. I'm sorry. How is WoW Classic? Uh, WoW Classic is everything that I hoped it would be, honestly. Um, just experiencing all of this stuff all over again um, is fun. It's different. I enjoy it. I enjoy this. Let's go this way. It, there's, like, so much of the stuff that I just forgot about. Like, completely forgot. Like, even existed or where certain things are you know so just coming back to it and experiencing all that stuff like it's you know brand new I, I suppose um, it's really cool and I, I mean I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft back in the day like probably way too much World of Warcraft be quite honest with you so it's kind of a scary thing at the same time that i'm playing this again but uh, it's so enjoyable i i like it it's just a different thing but anyway uh i was talking about apple stuff oh hang on sale i am or sale lamb congratulations on passing your pen test plus that's awesome dude Tell me about that experience, because I want to hear about it. Tell me uh, as much about that experience as you can without telling us too much. Because honestly, that the Pen Test Plus, that can be an, an intimidating certification to achieve. So good on you for, uh, for passing that. It's crazy. All right, well, I mean, it's awesome. Um, yeah, so Google found all these Apple devices that were being hacked, I think. That's the article that I read. It was on my phone. I wonder if I can pull it up right now. I should be saving some of these these news articles that I read. Because I was like, holy crap. Why is Google finding stuff wrong with Apple? Apparently I can't find this article. Which is very frustrating. It's on here somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe it's gone. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I found that kind of interesting. Um, I think as far as hacking and stuff goes, like I think that we're going to see a lot more hacking of... And I think a lot of people have been saying this for a while, and I know I've said this before, but we're going to find that uh, a lot more... Apple devices, you know, even like Mac OS, um, but iPhones, iPads, they're, people are really going to start developing malware uh, more frequently for these devices. And I think they, they work on it at a consistent basis, and I think they're at some point going to get past this point where like it, it's as difficult as it is, and then it'll just become rampant, like stupid Windows computers being infected by everything all the time. Because, you know, Windows is garbage when it comes to security, for the most part. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's interesting seeing that. Oh my gosh, I just gotta get more quests? My goodness. 
if you know how to read log encoding in Python Ruby and if you know Kali Linux tools, what they do will be so easy. That's good to know. You do have long time experience in Kali since the backtrack days. And you're good at coding too. That's cool. That's awesome though, man. I'm I'm super like proud of you. I'm super happy for you that you were able to uh to pass that, man. What's next for you? You got anything fun and exciting coming up? Different certification? Uh, like an ransomware for Android and iOS? Yeah, I'm sure we'll see a ton more of that. Alright, so your first name pronounces Priya. Priya. Priya Inca? Priya Inca? Priyanka? Is it that one? Was it the first one I said or the second one I said? You want to go into cloud or database, which should you recommend in a new IT career? Um, well, those again, those are two different things too. Um, the cloud is, you know, at some point in many ways, complete opposite of database. Um, so you're looking like like database administration, things like that. So you'd be learning things like SQL and all that fun stuff. But with the cloud, I mean, you're you're managing, you're potentially managing many different operating systems, right? So it's kind of good to have like more of that server side administration knowledge behind you. Where when I mean, when you talk about database, like that's more to me and from what my understanding what I've seen when I've talked to people uh, more along the lines of like coding many times because understanding how databases work and function and how data gets you know it transverses between a database and a, a UI and how all that information is you know pulled from the different tables and stuff uh, it's a little bit I don't know it's not anything I would ever be interested in because to me, it's like, okay, I'm going to stare at all this data all day long, right? You know, or I'm going to be writing all these scripts to manage all this data. And it could be enjoyable. I think um, both are great options for a career. I think doing a little bit of more research on uh, some of the different tasks, duties, and things that a database administrator would do or um, a cloud administrator, if you will, would do would be beneficial for you. So it was easier than the Security Plus for you. That's awesome. It's crazy how, and I was just talking to somebody about this the other day, how the Security Plus, for some people, it's so difficult, right? And it's people who have been in this field for, for many years, like have difficulty with the Security Plus. And, you know, they fail it, they and then they eventually pass it like I did. But there, there's so many other people out there who um, just find the Security Plus like easy. They, they had no problems with it, you know? And they get like these tremendous passing scores and like, how the heck did you do that, right? Like, how did you find that so easy? I think other, just some people learn differently. Some people, it, things just come to them much easier than everyone else, which, and, you know, like, I think that's pretty basic knowledge but still it's it's just crazy to hear how everybody has a different story on how they have achieved something or done something or learned something and the different ways that they've gone about learning these things your next is going to be the ceh what's up haba baba you love hacking hacking could definitely be fun that's for sure. Do this. Do you think AI would overcome cybersecurity jobs? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think AI isn't necessarily going to be a job. I think it's going to just be a different part of specific jobs. So, yeah, you're not going to see... Uh, you won't see AI being used everywhere, but I think you'll see it used for... Um, different purposes within different roles, right? So, I mean, AI is just so, it's really, in many ways, like at its infancy, 
um, for what we're, I mean, utilizing it for, what we're learning about how we can utilize it. So I think as the years go on, we'll see different, many different ways that AI gets implemented into different job roles. And I think it'll be interesting. You know, you can definitely learn how to do many things with an AI and um, like Python is huge, right? Like Python is always used in AI, it seems like. But I don't know if there's going to be a lot of specific job titles to that, you know? What's going on, Cesar Morales? How you doing? You're currently studying for the A+. What are you using to study for the A+. Salem, you're you're good at uh, hands-on exams, especially when they ask about what this log does and what uh, this code does and this tool use. Is that easy for me? Okay. Um, I'm terrible at exams, which I found out. I think I'm terrible at exams. I feel like I'm terrible at exams, I guess I should say. Yeah, everybody definitely has their their strong points. How much time would I spend on each domain until moving on to the next domain? Well, what you should be doing is as you're studying, um, getting through each domain, hopefully whatever you're using to study has different practice exams, practice questions after you finish like a chapter or, you know, a domain, if you will. Um, otherwise, you can go out on the Googles and just search for like, you know, A plus um, uh, like sample questions or A pl plus like. Uh, practice tests that's what I was looking for and go through some of them uh, and a lot of them will be kind of divided by the domains I know the security plus there's a couple different sites that actually divided the practice exams by each domain which was really helpful I feel like so I'm sure there's something out there for the a plus too so after you finish a domain go through practice practice exams and test yourself um, the only time you're really going to know you're ready is when you start, you know, nailing these practice, practice exams. I cannot talk today. My goodness. And don't think that whatever you're seeing on these practices, oh my God, I can't even say practice. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Anything that you find on these practice exams will not be at all like what you find on the actual exam. So keep that in mind. What am I studying for th these days? So, um, currently I'm going through uh, Test Out Ethical Hacker uh, course. Potion, darn it. Uh, so that's going to get basically gear me up for their ethical hacking certification that they offer, uh, but it also should get me prepared for the CEH. So that's what I'm currently working on and I'm really excited about it. We're just like in the beginning stages of this. So it's going to be kind of interesting. It'll be very interesting on how it all pans out and works. But I'm excited for it. I have a personal friend who actually built this course, designed the course, put it all together from test out. Um, so it's in, it'll be interesting to see that. I already saw like a couple of the, uh, videos and walkthroughs that I went through of like seen his name and stuff on it. It's just funny seeing that stuff. So. It's cool. What's up, IT career, career skills? Thanks for the super chat. I cannot talk today. Put me out of my misery today. All right. So, Caesar, you're using Professor Messer, CompTIA, eBook, CBT Nuggets, and YouTube, and IT Pro TV. You're using all of that? That seems like overkill, bro. I'd stick to like a couple of them, maybe. Uh, Professor Messer is always good, solid content for free. I personally feel like IT Pro TV has the best content out there. Uh, I mean, IT Pro TV is what I use to really help pass my Security Plus. I think IT Pro TV made a huge difference in what I learned. Um, CBT Nuggets I haven't used in years, so I couldn't tell you much about them. But I'm sure Network Chuck will tell you that they're the best in the whole wide world. Juan Gonzalez, you want to say thank you. Your videos definitely helped me during your career search and obtaining knowledge. Just accepted an offer in IT at the hospital I work at. That is awesome, dude. Congratulations, and thank you. I'm glad that I can help. I'm I'm here to help. That's what the channel's all about. It's not about World of Warcraft Classic. I'm just nerding out while I take a break from my work so that I can 
talk to you guys. It's official. I'm getting paid to play games now. All right, I'm officially a streamer. That's what's up. It's official. I mean, I thought it was already official that, I mean, I was like a YouTuber, I guess. So I guess that being a streamer is apparently different. They're classified differently. So now I'm a YouTuber and a streamer. Woo! I'm going to die here. probably right but you love them all well I mean as long as you're getting information uh, that you're learning and uh, it's making sense you know like that that's what I think what I would really meant to say as long as it's making sense to you uh, that's what matters you know I could tell you all day use IT Pro TV because I feel like they're the best well I mean at the end of the day you might not feel like they're the best so it doesn't even matter right so use what you feel like works for you. IT Career Skills loves CBT Nuggets. Uh, what is going on? Why can't I get around this guy? There we go. Uh, best are for pen testing jobs. Now you live in Memphis, Tennessee, and they don't know what the hell pen testing is anyway. Yeah, I'm always curious how many of the different areas of the country, especially like more rural areas, deal with technology. Now, I live in a rural, rural I cannot talk today, rural, whatever, area. There's 15,000 people in my town. Um, and the, the hospital that's in town that I actually used to work at, uh, I mean, they were the most up-to-date as far as technology goes. Now, I mean, they're still up, the most up-to-date in this area as far as technology goes uh, they just they're moving you know many of their services and stuff to Azure you know they just uh, went with like Azure uh, migrated Active Directory there uh, went to Office 365 see like nobody else really in the area is, is doing that they're, they're not on top of their games yet but it's always interesting to hear about other parts of we're running away from this. Uh oh, I might die. Other parts of the, the world or the country uh, are, are up to date with their technology or not. I love hearing about that. Cesar Morales, you're 70% done with IT entry level course, which is amazing. The course that, uh, that I made, is that the one you're referring to? No one thinking about getting into IT. You don't know if you get this a lot. You know more than the average Joe about computers and want to start in IT with end goal of network security you have no experience where do you start uh, honestly you could start with something like the A plus CompTIA is A plus you can look them up on the Google Just search for CompTIA A plus that's always a great starting point because it lays down many of the different uh, oh, I'm gonna, definitely gonna die now lays down different a lot of the different technologies within IT it covers networking a little bit um, but after the A+, plus, which I think is a, the best fundamental like certification that everybody should get if they're looking to get in IT who don't know anything about technology, um, A+, plus is definitely the best start. And then you can go to something like the Net+, plus or the CCNA, which I'll have um, new news on the CCNA because they just made some big changes to the CCNA again. Not again, but I think it was just part of the original change. Um, CCNA might be easier now. That's basically what I'll give you. Otherwise, it's, you'll have to wait for the video that I create for that. Um, yeah, CCNA would kind of be like that, that goal that you should look to achieve if you're looking to get into networking. Uh, and then, of course, there's uh, what would be the CCMP security, which would be the new certification but you have a little bit of ways to go so starting out get an a plus right get a comp a plus if you want to start working in it i mean you could start applying for jobs now put on your resume that you're looking to obtain your comp to a plus but when you actually get that a plus certification you'll really have doors opening up for you to help you get into the field 
And I would just suggest if you can, start working in IT as soon as you possibly can. Start understanding um, everything that you can about the field. Now, you say you want to get in network security, but you might find out that when you g actually get into the field that networking is not your gig. So for me, I, I always love telling people to start off an entry level as soon as you possibly can and see what area of the field that you actually really like, you really enjoy. Uh, let's see. Messy. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to not going to say say your name on on this uh stream, <laughs> but <laughs> it is funny. Uh, it's definitely funny. Uh, yesterday you went for a job interview for IT. Uh send you positive energy. All right. Sending you positive energy. Good luck. RBG Tech 16. This is World of Warcraft Classic. World of Warcraft Classic or World of Warcraft. It's probably a more fitting name for this stupid game. But anyway, you cannot play it on the Galaxy Tab. I mean, you could if you actually ran the game on your computer and then remoted into your computer from your Galaxy Tab, then you could definitely play it. Probably a good, good idea. I should probably try that. Maybe we will. So what, what are you guys up to this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun this weekend? I'm not. I think we're supposed to go bowling or something tonight with the kids. Which with all of our kids, that uh, never, never means a good thing. It's probably going to be chaotic. As every other day. And then I'm hoping to play more of this this weekend with some friends. Because that would be fun. <clears throat> area is sketchy. Oh, darn it. He's trying to get behind him. Um, there was some other news I read uh, the other day, too, that I wanted to talk about, and now I can't remember. Oh, well. Uh, Dylan Howard, thanks for all your videos. You have helped me out when you failed the A+. Plus. Have you? When did you fail the A+, plus and have you like looked at taking it again yet? That'd be my question to you. Hopefully you've tried to go after the A+, plus again. Don't let failure stop you. Never let failure stop you. I was like, honestly, like, so I didn't really have really negative feelings when I, when I failed my security plus, like it just, I think it was just such a big wake up call for me that I needed to do more and that, you know, even though I've been in this field as long as I have, I don't know everything. So it's like, Hey, here's a reality check. Zach, you don't know this. You actually need to study, bro. And that was inter That was, that was a good wake up call for me. Failure is definitely the key to success. For sure. I can get on board with that all day. You're taking it next Friday. You're, are you still doing the 1,000 one? And not the 1,002 yet? Kevin Key. Why is it? showing up on here but not here that's so weird I'm about to die of course oh we died at the same time that's BS alright so I saw let's see Kevin Key I don't know why your chat's not showing up on there that's so stupid but you said you inspired me to get off your butt and start trying to get in IT. I'm glad I could inspire you. <laughs> That's awesome. Anybody can work in IT. I think uh, IT is for everybody. If it's something that you think you want to do, I think anybody can do it. And you should be encouraged to do it. You should, I mean, you should want to do it. Like, you should want to succeed and, and 
accomplish things in that aspect if, if you want to. You know, like don't let anything stop you. Andrew Matthews, you've been working your first IT related job for the last year, making 30k a year. You've decided to change companies with a salary increase of 11k. Would you consider this good progression? What's here's going to be the important thing that's not necessarily that important, but it, it like okay, let me explain. What what title are you going to? Are you keeping the same job title? You know, are you going from uh, a help desk technician at one place and going to a help desk tech position at another place or are you actually getting a, a different title that that may be better than whatever you just had because you can't really weigh progression as far as salary goes you know that I wouldn't say that that's that's progressing now that's great it, it's definitely awesome but does that mean that you're any better off than where you were previously so um you hear help desk tech to support engineer. So yeah, that's, that's better, right? That's definitely a lot better. That's what I would be looking at. That's what I would kind of focus on. Even though job titles mean absolutely nothing in reality of things, because they're so stupid and skewed and all over the place. Other, you know, hiring managers look at that. But yeah, um, if you feel like you're progressing, that's what matters if you are happy with the change then it's a progression you know it's like at the end of the day like i can't tell you if you progress necessarily does it feel like you achieved better are you doing better that's what matters how do i like it pro tv's lab environment i mean they use like what practice labs and i love practice labs I think they also use like Kaplan or something, something different, something weird. I think they have a couple different lab environments that they're using now. But practice labs, I mean, as far as like real practice simulated labs go, you know, practice labs has got it going on. They do a great job. You're still working on your 1001, Dylan? You got this, man. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. Matt P, you're weighing them and Cyberary. Uh, I would t try a free trial of both of them and see which one you enjoy more. I, uh, Cyberary even uses practice labs. So they might utilize them in a different way. Like they might have different types of uh, tutorials or whatever uh, that they utilize within the labs. So you might see that that's a little bit different. But otherwise, they're using the same platform. The same practice lab prep platform. So, there's that. But definitely ch check out their free trials. Darn it. And uh, I think with IT Pro TV, you get like a seven day trial. Um, I'm not sure, Cyber, I forget. But um, try them both out. See which one you think uh, works better for your learning style. And I have coupons for each of them. So if you want to, if you want to sign up for IT Pro TV, the coupon code is ITCQ30, which gets you 30% off. And if you want to sign up for Cyberace, ITCQ50, which gets you 50% off. And with the Practice Lab pricing, I think they're both roughly like right about the same price. IT Pro TV might be a little bit more expensive because I think Cyberace is like 50 bucks a month. And I think IT Pro TVs, it brings it down to $58 a month. Something like that. Not sure. You gotta look into that. I should know this off the top of my head, but I don't. What do I still need here? Loggers. These stupid loggers. You think they both have sales right now for Labor Day? Yeah, so if unless they're using a different coupon code, um, try to see if you can apply apply my coupon code. Uh, I know sometimes like IT Pro TV, excuse me, hang on. <coughs> IT Pro TV will run a sale and they knock it off of the price um, that's listed and then you can still use coupon codes. But if you want to be like super solid, you could 
email each of them. So email IT Pro TV and Cybrary, and uh, if they're running a sale, tell them that I sent you there, right? And see if you can apply my coupon code to whatever their sale is on top of whatever they got going on. Maybe they'll be cool. Maybe they'll give you an even bigger discount. But it's worth a shot, in my honest opinion. So yeah, just, just email them directly. But don't say Zach said, because I don't want to get in trouble. That would be bad. Then they'd be mad at me. Zach said you could do this. Zach didn't say you could do this. Zach said you could try to do this. And Zach said that they would be really cool if they did do that. Just saying. I'm pretty sure they want to be cool. I'm pretty sure there's some cool people. But anyway, what other questions you guys got? Let's go. Let's give, give me something to work with here. I know it's kind of lame just watching me play this stupid game, but I'm here to answer your questions. I'm not just here to play this game. I want to talk to you guys about IT. If you want me to put it on a different screen, I can do that too. You tell me. This area sucks, though. You know, all these darn spiders. And little goblins running around. Uh, Dylan Howard, when am I doing... When am I going to do another job search in different areas again? I don't know. Maybe we can do that next week. I'm, I really want to try to get to a point where I do more live streams, but it's, you know, it's always so hit or miss because I don't schedule anything. And that's my fault. It's because life's always crazy and hectic and all these crazy, hectic, stupid things always happen to me randomly. Uh, Moged100, hello, how are you doing? But um, yeah, maybe next week we'll, we'll schedule something. Because I know you guys like that when we did that. So we could do that again. I'll schedule something for next week. You need advice for taking the ITIL exam? What kind of advice do you need for that? Study. Study, study. Best advice I could give you. Is there any college degrees in pen testing? You don't think so. Um, I wouldn't say there's any college degrees in pen testing specifically. A few different cybersecurity type of degrees. I'm sure there's probably maybe one at this point that focuses more on pen testing. Maybe. I don't know. What's that? What's the big college? <coughs> Is it WGU or something? Where they have like a really popular cybersecurity program. Oh man, I needed to be down there. Not paying attention. You are welcome. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what kind of advice you want for uh, the ITIL. I mean, it's a pretty you know straightforward as far as I I, I know about it certification. Study, 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 study. Oh, look at I gained another level. That's exciting. Colleges are always five years behind. They sure are. That is always the truth, I feel like. Herman Britz! Are there any IT careers which you can go into that doesn't require science? Yeah, I don't think any IT rec careers require science. Nothing nothing should require science at all. Any channels to study? I don't know if there's any channels that I've seen that offer any type of free uh, ITIL courses or videos or whatever. Uh, I know like IT Pro TV has ITIL courses that are pretty good. I mean... I guess I don't know that they're pretty good. I'm assuming that they're pretty good because everything that I've seen from that company is pretty good. So I'd check them out. But as far as like a YouTube channel or something, I have, I have no clue. 
I can't help you there. Herman Britz, your university won't accept you if you don't do better with science? <clears throat> uh, okay, I guess I don't understand why. Is it computer science are you referring to? I beat two. You suggest da Jason Dion on Udemy for ITIL. There you go. Great suggestion. I'm sure the course on Udemy is probably much cheaper than IT Pro TV. Probably get it for like 10 bucks. Okay, so you're referring to computer science. Okay. Well, I mean, that's that's different. Now, are you trying to, like, <laughs> how are you defining science right now? You think you're gonna do some like biology and stuff? Is that what you're thinking? Because that that's completely different than computer science. Salam, Google, Apple, and twelve other companies that no longer require employees to have college degree. It's awesome. I I'm totally on board with that. There are so many smart people who work in IT who don't have degrees, and there's like some of the smartest minds in the world, right? Uh, who completely bypass college because they're like, what's the point? I'm a genius. I'm sure they, I'm sure maybe some of them probably said that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I always kind of nowadays like the degree requirement is just a little bit silly. It's unfortunate for many people who have gone the the college path, right? I think college degrees are fantastic um, for people who want to be in management and positions like that. But otherwise, like. I don't know. I don't see it. That's me personally. Me personally. It, it helps you get jobs, right? It, I mean, they teach you the things that you need to know. I'm not harping on it necessarily in a bad way. I just think there's a lot of people who have different paths that they take to get into this field. And all these different paths work perfectly fine and well. Right? There's people who get into IT who have no degrees and no certifications, and they start out an amazing, wonderful career that goes on for many, many years. I'm one of them. I mean, I, I didn't get my first certification until last month, and I worked in the field for 17 years-ish. So, yeah. Again, everybody has a different path, though. Everybody feels like they need to do one thing, um, you know, and, and that's going to help them justify whatever it is in their head that, you know, is making sense to them. Um, and I support you in either way you, you want to get into this, or any way that you want to get in this field, I will support you. I'm never going to necessarily tell you that you're stupid for doing one thing over another. Um, because, like I said, I, I think everybody just has a different path. 17 years before I got my first cert. That's right. <clears throat> college is silly today. Yeah, I, I think there's many things that are, that are very silly about college. And one of the things that's really unfortunate, which somebody had mentioned in this chat before. Um, um, gosh, what was it? Now I forget. Maybe I shouldn't play World of Warcraft while I'm trying to talk to you guys. My ADD is obviously terrible. Um, yeah, colleges are five years behind. That's what it was. Which I think they're like three years behind or so, but colleges are always going to be behind uh, the curve in many, many aspects. Um, and that's, like, unfortunate, right? Like, it's sad that it is that way, but it's mostly the truth. I think WGU does a really good job of trying to keep up to date. Uh, but other than that, like, yeah, a lot of colleges that you're going to find are just, they're not where they need to be. Plus, who's with me? And, you know, you're going to school for IT, and you got to take these stupid gen eds, right? Like, that's why I never went to college, because I don't want to sit there and learn more about math and English and all this stuff. Like, it's not that's not enjoyable for me right like that's kind of it's just boring plus what does that have to do with IT right 
how did I get in? Well, things were completely different uh, back in like the early 2000s when I first started trying to get into this field. Um, you know, if, if you knew something about technology, like everybody wanted you. And I knew how to build websites and everybody wanted me. And then everybody kind of assumed like, oh, you know how to do websites, so you know how to fix my printer. Oh, you do websites, so you know how to uh, network our devices together, right? Like, as all this stuff. And it's like, I, guys, I have no idea. Like, I didn't have any idea at the time, but people kept asking me and assuming that because I was apparently good with computers that I knew everything, right? And I enjoy helping people, so then I just started learning about it. And then it's like one thing led to another, and one opportunity led to another, and... You know, that's how I got started. Now, if you look at IT career skills, um, here's a guy who last year, or over a year ago now at this point, uh, so over a year ago, he came to me and said, Zach, I want to work in IT. What do I need to do? And he's, he was looking at taking uh, his A+. Plus. I was like, well, just start applying for jobs now. Put on your resume that you're currently trying to achieve your A+. Plus, and just see what happens right and he did that he applied for a, a numerous jobs right like just a ton of jobs i feel like and then he got he got called in for an interview nailed the interview because he has awesome customer service skills and he got the job here's a guy no experience working in it prior no degrees no certifications um that's how he got into the field and now I mean, he's been working with, with the company he's at for over a year now. Um, doing great. Oh, my goodness. i got to get out of here. I'm going to die. I need, I need new gear. It's not cutting it. But, yeah, uh, everybody, not everybody, a lot of people have different stories like that, though. You know, there's no set in stone way that, you know, this is how you get in IT. This is how you start your career in IT because everybody's different. Uh, J. Rowe es Espino, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. New subscriber here, you're an MS uh, program for cybersecurity. Any advice on careers or what I should be looking into? Uh, start looking into everything, <laughs> honestly. Like, if you're looking to get your start in the field, I mean, I tell everybody, start off an entry-level role. That's great. You don't have to stay in entry-level for long. It's all about building the experience. But you can, if you're doing... Um, a program for cybersecurity, you can get um, an entry level um, security role. It's possible. Anything is possible, I'm telling you. So start looking at like security analyst positions, um, any position that's going to be in a SOC, that would be very, very helpful. That would be my advice. But other than that, like if you're not seeing many security positions in your area, apply for an entry-level job just so you can start getting experience and then keep looking for cybersecurity related jobs and keep applying for those types of jobs you know if, if something comes up and you have an opportunity to take that then take it right but just get your foot into the field period <clears throat> let's see michael morales you got three mta mobility and mta security and linux don't think those really amount to much yes they do micro everybody loves microsoft certifications microsoft certifications are a big deal i mean those are honestly a very big deal in in microsoft environments <laughs> yeah no though those are those are great certifications to have H herman brits it ain't the illuminati just apply i love that ald if you can't even pass associate's degree uh, i don't know what that what that comment was in reference to maybe something i said <coughs> sorry reginald white yes you have that problem now that's why you dropped out yeah did i intern no i did not intern anywhere ld actually i don't even consider myself a pure it person but it, you have your associate's degree in it networking awesome a a hey bro you're planning on taking your first step in IT by taking A plus classes. Ultimately, you want to be in cybersecurity. Any advice on what steps to take? No degree as well. Well, after your A plus, go for something like the security plus. 
that would be my advice a plus security plus then start trying to get in i mean you can start trying to get in the field now you start trying to get in the field and you get your a plus but really just get your foot in the door and then start trying to experience different things that are security related and find out in what area of cybersecurity you would like to work in because while everybody says hey zach i want to work in cybersecurity that's great what part of cybersecurity would you like to be working with networking devices pen testing um, <clears throat> you know risk policies the list could go on and and on and on for days and days and days LD A plus is minimum bar. See if you can pass an A plus prep course at junior college. Let's see, IT Pro ninety nine. I should make a video on salary negotiations. You're going to graduate college in a couple of years. I'm not sure how I would figure it out. Well, I could make a video on that. I think there's many different uh, aspects of that that would be worth covering. It's just such a broad type of uh, question to even consider covering. So I'd probably have to put a little bit of work into that. But you can do something like that. A plus seems kind of useless for some jobs. Um, I mean, sure, maybe it could be, but for getting into the field, the A plus is the best certification to get. Plus, if you look on Indeed.com right now, there's over probably 5,000, 6,000 jobs that require that you have the A plus. So that's a that's a pretty big that's a that's a lot of jobs out there. <clears throat> Rashid Smith play Minecraft. I've never played Minecraft in my life and I don't plan on it now. That that's not my cup OT either. Oh, I want this one what the heck? No, I don't want that one. Definitely need something different here. Let me put you guys on mute while I answer this phone call right quick. Alright, sorry. That was the wife. And I had to answer it. Because she knew I was doing a live stream. I told her prior to me live streaming that I was about to do a live stream and she called me anyway, so I figured it must be important. It wasn't that important. She could have texted me. <clears throat> Jero Espino, who's my favorite Jedi and Sith? I am I don't think I've ever watched any of the Star Wars movies from start to finish, so I'm probably not the best person to answer that question, clearly. Sorry. Michael Morales, you need to update a resume. You had someone do mine that put stuff on there that I know I can't do. Yeah, never put anything on your resume that you know nothing about. Josh the first 66, hey, should you obtain your network plus if you're focusing on a cybersecurity major? Yeah. There <clears throat> Getting a certification is never a bad thing. Like, quite honestly, like, it, you're never going to go wrong getting a certification. The Network Plus can definitely help you in many aspects of a cybersecurity career or just a career in IT in general, anyway. You feel $15 should, or 15 years old, or $15 should be the uh, minimum for an entry level job. Some people have the certs, but they can't really explain it to someone. Uh, Linux Essentials would a pretty easy exam. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, some people definitely learn material better than others, so, and some people use brain dumps for certifications, which is terrible, right? Um, 
you know, ultimately, once once they start working in the field, like it all comes out that like they know nothing. So let them shoot themselves in the foot. You know, we don't have to do it for them. They'll they'll shoot themselves in the foot at some point. I don't want those. Trying to, trying to buy different gear for my dude here because I keep dying so easily and it's really getting kind of old. I'm getting sick of it. <clears throat> what is it? Where's the cheapest one? Eight gold or eight silver. You got it. <clears throat> Sorry. Keep coughing. Can't help it. Can't help it. Uh, where's, where's feet? Feet. There we go. What certification should you get for web development? Um, Microsoft has some certifications that kind of are geared that way, but I mean, you're going to find that there's really not anything out there for any types of programming or development jobs as far as certifications go. Um, I know Microsoft has some. There, I think they're starting to come out with more, but there's nothing out there that's really going to be like uh, the best, you know. <clears throat> Sorry, I keep coughing in the microphone. It's my bad. I don't know why I keep coughing so much. Oh man. It's a bummer. No necklaces. Let's see, what else? can I get shoulders yet? Ooh, I can't buy shoulders. Yeah, we're gonna buy those just because. X to the yeah. Using boot camps for study material, nothing wrong. Rashid Smith, kid you? You want, you want me to tell you a joke? Is that what you want? Oh man. Let's get all this stuff. All the gooders. I should, probably should have just streamed this from my other tra channel. That would have been better than letting you guys witness the world of Warcraft. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys have to play along with me just to talk to me. And just to ask your IT career questions. No joke, you never played WoW. Yeah, I, it's one of those games, man. I don't know. I My friends were playing it way back in the day, right, like when it first came out. And I was like, you guys are stupid. This is the stupidest game I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Like, it's so dumb. And uh, lots of other, like, very inappropriate things I would say to them about playing this game. And then they're, like, one day they're like, all right, you, you keep making fun of us. You've never played it. You have no idea what it's like. And I was like, you know, yeah, because it's dumb, it's stupid, blah, blah, blah. Like, just sit down for one hour and play it. And it took, like, many days for them to convince me to actually sit down and play this game. And I sat down and played this game, and I was like, wow. All right, now I can kind of see. It's, it's fun. It's enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I played it for many years. <clears throat> You had a friend who would leave a get together so they can go home and do a raid. Yeah, we, I mean, we were those people. Like, the thing is, like, the when this game first came out, like the four people, five people that I consistently hung out with, like, we all played World of Warcraft. So it's like we would leave each other so we could go home and and play. Opinion on public versus private sector IT jobs. <clears throat> well, I, I probably have many opinions on that. Um, I enjoyed more so the private side, I think. Working any type of job where, um, you know, money and making sales and, 
and that kind of thing is their primary concern doesn't really interest like it doesn't like do anything for me right like it doesn't give me any fulfillment so that's kind of how i've always looked at it when i worked for like um basically like an engineering company and their it team and while it like the job paid well right and like it was a really easy job I just didn't enjoy, like, I didn't get fulfillment out of it, right? So, like, I've worked for school districts for many, many years. Um, outside of the school districts, I, then I worked for a hospital, right? So, the work that I was doing was ultimately affecting people on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, just affecting many, many people. And I got a lot of fulfillment out of that. Like, working for the hospital, you... Um, your your job you know working with technology in that in that hospital like that technology ultimately like affects people's lives right so in some weird way like i don't know i just i enjoyed that much more now you'll find oftentimes um that the pay might not be as well and i might really might not be as good at all <clears throat> excuse me but I, I, it works it works better it's not as stressful sometimes i mean sometimes there's definitely stressful moments working in a hospital i think was the most stressful job i've ever had just because you know there's people live people's lives that were on the line um that, that was like the the job i enjoyed the most out of all of them so i don't know You heard hospital IT can get hectic. Yeah, I can definitely get hectic. <clears throat> I mean, for that job, like, I was on call. So we do on call. We, we'd switch it off. Um, usually it's like once a week every month. And that, I mean, honestly, for me, like, it was fine. I took on call for everybody for like a year straight almost. So I was on call, like, literally like 24 7 for a year i think there's only a couple times here and there where i wasn't on call um but like so that could be stressful in its own right i enjoyed it though but at the end of it like it was just so overwhelming very overwhelming Hey, hey, so you've noticed some colleges and trade schools offer cert classes upwards of 14 to 20K. Don't you think it's kind of a ripoff? Yes. 100%. That's a ripoff. Anytime I see anything, like, and don't get me wrong, like, boot camps can be cool, right? Like, they can work out for you sometimes, oftentimes maybe. That's a lot of money, right? I mean, they're, they're going to cram something down your throat in a week, and you need to hope that you retain that right and you hope that you can go pass an exam but you're paying thousands upon thousands of dollars right to to go through a program i need to put that up there um when you could just go online and there's a lot of free stuff out there on youtube uh, and then you can join cbt nuggets it pro tv cyberary plural site all these other places for you know 50 something bucks a month or whatever the heck it is and you're gonna save money not only that like you're not just focusing on one thing like you could focus on many many different things because all these different platforms offer content and i mean everything so there's a lot more value there that's what i'm getting at But I think it's crazy for somebody to spend that much money on a, on a boot camp. I don't know. I could never do it personally. Michael Morales, use your computer career and you think it was around 14k. But looking back, if I paid for the certs myself and taught yourself, it wouldn't. You wouldn't be in debt like you are now. <clears throat> yeah. That's the like. That's the one thing about college too. Like you, you put yourself in so much debt. Like, for what? <laughs> to, to pay it off for the next 10 years? 20 years? I don't know. To, eat, to each their own. 
Oh, that chat's got to be really hard to, to read. My bad. Rolling restarts. I keep hearing so much about my computer, right, or computer career, or what is it, my computer career, or whatever the heck it is. I need to, I need to talk to those people. Find out what the heck they're what their mission is, what their goals are. Community colleges aren't expensive, aren't as expensive, but can still add up. Yeah. I mean, you're still looking at thousands of dollars, either way you look at it. But again, like I said, to each their own. So anyway, I think I answered enough questions. It's been an hour. My break time is up. I have to get back to work. By work, I mean I gotta do like editing on this video and stuff. Not this video, but another video. Uh, Kurt Chill, Harry. There's a couple more questions. Let me answer these questions and then I'm gonna peace out. Uh, throp, throp, throp. You're only getting your IT degree because you get pretty hefty scholarship. It seems like compounding certs is the way to go if you don't want the debt. Yep. Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a college degree. <laughs> it's, you know, I would never say there's anything bad with it. Just like I said, to each their own. Stealth rank 2. Oh, man. I got, like, no goal, no, no monies. Uh, Kurt Chill, true, but you say a degree would help you get into the field, though, right? Well, a certification will help you get into the field. And, you know, and for some people, like, you don't even have to have a certification or a degree. You can just get in the field because you're awesome, right? But, yeah, I mean, having a, a degree will always be a beneficial thing for you, right? Like, it's, it's, it's helpful. Anyway, that's all I got for you all today. Thank you so much for joining, chatting with me, talking about IT careers and all your questions. Stay tuned next week. I'll have another video out, and maybe we'll schedule a live stream like a couple days in advance so you guys all know and are aware. So anyway, you all take it easy. Have a great week.